Hello and welcome to the video. Today you're going to find out how many calories you need for your PCOS in order to lose weight. Hello, my name is Despina and I'm from PCOS and Nutrition. Before we get started, give this video a like if you like it and subscribe for plenty more content. So, PCOS, Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. It's a common endocrine disorder affecting between 5-10% to 10 of women of a reproductive age. And we all know a common symptom that is associated with PCOS is weight gain or difficulty losing weight. The root cause for the weight gain or difficulty losing weight is insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is when the cells in the body have trouble absorbing glucose in the blood. And as a result, there's a buildup of sugar in the blood. A diet high in carbohydrates, specifically simple sugars such as white bread and white rice, can lead to insulin resistance. Insulin is produced in the pancreas. The main role of insulin is to control blood sugar levels. When you eat carbohydrates or even any food, insulin is increased. The job of insulin is to transfer or transport the um, energy, the glucose from food to for energy to the muscles or it gets sent to the liver. Glucose is used for energy or is stored as glycogen in the liver or in muscle cells. As the pancreas is constantly working on overdrive to create insulin, your cells end up becoming resistant to insulin and therefore as insulin is at the key to unlocking the door to the cells, the muscle cells, um, for energy, it becomes faulty. The key doesn't work anymore. Insulin does not work. There are also women with PCOS and insulin resistance that su suffer from metabolic syndrome. Insulin resistance causes metabolic syndrome. And this met and metabolic syndrome is a condition in which the metabolism is faulty. It's not working effectively. When we talk about metabolism, we often talk about mitochondria. Mitochondria is the fuel to run everything in your body. So the oxygen you breathe and the food you consume is all transferred into fuel for your body. If your mitochondria is effective, then your metabolism is fast. If your mitochondria is ineffective, then your metabolism is slow. I receive lots of questions by um, women with PCOS wondering how many calories should I be eating? Well, I also see lots of um, questions and answers on forums in which people are discussing their caloric intake. And I, I recently stumbled across one woman who um, discussed how she was eating around 1,000 to even 800 calories. And for, for the purpose of losing weight, because she believes that this is how low she must go to lose weight. And while this was the common protocol for weight loss was a low calorie diet, now this is changing. It's more about eating more and making sure you're exercising to lose weight for your pieces. So it's not. So the common myth of losing um, low calorie dieting will help with weight loss. So these low calorie restricted diets do more damage to metabolism than good so you're not helping your metabolic syndrome or your insulin resistance your constant low calorie dieting or yo-yo dieting over extending period of a period of time is doing more harm than good to your metabolism every time you're doing a low calorie diet your metabolism getting slower so if you're prolonged yo-yo dieting if you're a chronic dieter your metabolism is going to be super low Articles that suggest low calories like, and give you a specific range that like you suggest you should eat 1,000, 1,200 calories or even less, it's not going to help you. Or even for your insulin resistance, that's not the way to go about managing your insulin resistance, balancing your hormones or speeding up your metabolism, fixing your metabolism. So avoid these low calories. You can assess how what your caloric intake would be by um, looking at your BMR or RMR your uh, basal meta metabolic rate or resting metabolic rate you would take your body weight and then times that by depending on your activity level 
you could even you would adjust it even further so obviously you'd have extra calories because you're being active if you're muscular you would take your body weight and times it by 13 because muscle mass requires more calories more energy and if you're overweight you will times that by eight therefore there's no recommended caloric intake for women with PCOS or even anyone you cannot simply google and follow this diet plan that suggests eating 1500 1200 it's all individualized everybody's body's different our genetics are different our metabolism is different but simply the take a home message from this video has to be stop low calorie dieting if you want to speed up your metabolism which i'll make a future video about how you could do this you need to put an end to low calorie dieting you need to help increase the amount and the functioning of your mitochondria so avoid low calorie diets the way you can treat your metabolic syndrome is to eat more calories to speed up and help your mitochondria exercise through high intensity interval training and resistance training and this is also beneficial for people who suffer from insulin resistance and as i mentioned is a cause of um causes metabolic syndrome so uh, methods such as these and methods i will touch on on another video which make sure you subscribe um i will make and go in depth and discuss ways to increase your metabolism thyroid is so crucial in when it comes to energy levels and weight loss and weight gain so that's one point that you need to cut out cut out low calorie dieting make sure you're feeding your body the right nutrients the, uh, enough and uh, less of the wrong Limit nutrients or cut out completely the amount of sugar you're consuming processed and refined foods as well as inflammatory foods so that's the final take home message thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a like if it helped you out comment any questions down below or any requested video topics share this video and don't forget to subscribe for plenty more videos